Hello all, this is a simple code uh, to read the MQ2 or MQ4 gas sensor analog output and then display it on 16 cross 2 LCD using Arduino you know, microcontroller. Okay, so now if you see here, we are using the inbuilt uh, I2C based uh, um, LCD display code. Uh, which you can get it uh, from the Arduino library here. Okay, so if you if you type LCD, you will get uh, all the relevant codes for that. You can also get I2C based uh, um, <coughs> sensor, uh, sorry, LCD code, uh, and uh, you can uh, directly start with that code. To that code, few modifications have been done where we have introduced a sensor pin. Uh, we are using uh, A0 sensor pin on Arduino board uh, to interface the MQ4 sensor. And then there is another uh, uh, variable which is introduced which is sensor value. So initial sensor value is 0. And what we are doing is basically we are printing hello world from way to know initially. And then we are clearing the display in the setup function. Now in the loop, what we are doing is we are using the inbuilt function of Arduino uh, um, which is uh, analog read off and we are reading the sensor pin analog value we have actually configured it here and um, that is being uh, input to sensor value variable and what we are doing is um, in the first row we are setting the sensor to uh, cursor to 0, 0 and we are displaying analog value and in the second uh, row uh, which is uh, set by using set cursor function uh, and we are giving 0 1 and here we are printing the actual uh, digital value that is being read. This digital value is basically the ADC value and it is not the actual voltage that we are reading. Okay, so now uh, this is how we are actually um, writing the code and then we have introduced a random delay function uh, for a, a simple delay purposes rather than reading continuously and displaying we are actually reading with some delay. Okay, this delay will show what's the exact value later. So this is how we have uh, come up with um, the code now let us look at the board and see how this code is functioning hello all we have a mq2 sensor which is interface to um, the arduino you know over the adc interface you can see here from the mq2 interface um, there are three lines that are coming uh, one is 5 volts one is ground and the other one is the analog output which is connected to the arduino you know and then the Arduino you know, is also connected to LCD display which is uh, uh, reading the analog value and uh, displaying on the 16 cross 2 LCD. So if you see here we are also reading the analog output on the multimeter. Right now the analog output from uh, the sensor is 0.8 volts. Okay. So in this condition when there is no smoke or anything you can see that the sensor is giving out 0.8 volts now what we are doing is we are trying to bring use an um, agarbatti to bring out some smoke and you can see here the value the output value has increased to 1.37 okay and you can also see that the display value has increased and uh, the sensor is trying to read okay so uh, it's just trying to read that smoke value and it the value is also um, 1.32 and the display also is increasing okay so now if the smoke value is higher you can also see that at one point the green led on the board glows but again, that depends on how much smoke has been emitted. Now that we removed the smoke, you can see uh, the value, analog value got reduced and even the display is um, displaying a lower value. Now, 
one point which you might ask is uh, what is this uh, 0.9 volts and how we have to correlate to 209 or whatever see basically what we are displaying here is the register value that is being read and this is actually the multimeter value which is uh, read so now what happens is whenever analog value is read by the Arduino you know the Arduino you know actually um, reads that analog value and converts it into a digital value using the 10 bit ADC that is there inside the Arduino you know so the 10 bit ADC register is what uh, we are displaying so as an engineer when you are working on Arduino uh, the ADC you must have a perfect correlation between the analog value that is input and then uh, the ADC corresponding ADC value or basically the digital value for that analog input so that the engineer must know that correlation so that appropriate decisions can be taken okay